There could be only one. Here we are in Anchorage, Alaska, in the eye of the storm, the Alaska storm, taking on the visiting Sioux Falls Sparrows in semifinal number one of SFL action here on Twitch. Welcome into the broadcast booth, everybody. My name is Eric Benson, alongside Shan Varner for this contest here. Shan, what's going on, man? I'm not much. Great to be here, guys. So we got two teams coming off of big victories, uh, last second victories in these uh, quarterfinal matchups, Shan. It's, it's something serious. These guys both love to chunk the ball. It's going to be Sue's uh, receivers are up to the task today. Both good defenses also, but both teams love to pass the ball. Not a whole lot of running game to speak of as we come into this contest here. Sparrows, the visiting team, in their bright yellow highlighter uniforms. And the Storm are actually going to decide to kick off. They'll go on defense to start things off. And Sioux Falls will get their first crack at it with Julian Tyree. Coming into this game, both receivers, uh, Sean Harrelson and Michael Moore, for the Sioux Falls Sparrows are in the top 15 season. Something to definitely watch out for as Brad Burchette gets things going here on semifinal Saturday. A.J. Warren's going to field it just inside his own end zone, and he will bring it out to about the 26-yard line. And as I mentioned, Julian Tyree, the quarterback for the Sioux Falls Sparrows, he will go ahead and take over on offense. And what are we looking for from this uh, Sparrows offense as they take the field here, Shan? I think, you know, they're... You know, Julian Tyree loves to chunk the ball, as we said earlier. Um, it's just going to be getting those first downs with um, when that strong. Tyree to pass, short drop, over to the left-hand side. That's caught on an out route out to about the 38-yard line. I believe they'll mark that as a first down. No, excuse me, a second and inches. Pick up there, tight end. So second in inches. We're about the 36-yard line. Tyree's going to pass again. Quick one over to Redford. Redford's got the first down yardage as he's wrapped up on the play by one of the defensive linemen, I believe. Sioux Falls offense up atop your screen there. Julian Tyree, Robert Redford, Michael Moore, Sean Harrelson, and A.J. Warren are your wide receivers as Redford gets a handoff right up the middle, and he's going to take it for a good chunk of eight or nine yards. Yeah, but stopped shortly by Ryan Tolvin. This Alaska defense played well. Despite the point total against Mexico City as we get a look at their defense towards the top of the screen, Big Sexy Alex Dominguez down there in the trenches, Andrew Francis, Evan Carroll, Ryan Davidson, Tony Willis, and Ryan Tobin, who was in on that last tackle. And Redford actually gets wrapped up in the backfield. This time, Tony Willis comes up to make the stop. It'll be a loss of a couple, third and three. A great play by Willis. It comes in there and wraps up Redford. He doesn't let him pick up that first down. This is the first third down that uh, we've seen from Sioux Falls. They've been doing a great job of picking up the first down uh, within a couple uh, plays of each uh, down. Tyree, short drop over to the left-hand side. He's got a man. Could have possibly made that guy miss. Michael Moore could have had some uh, some extra yardage there, but steps out of bounds, first and 10. There on that side, uh, Moore would have broke that tackle there. He would have been gone for six. Get a look at the eye here in Anchorage, Alaska. A little bit chilly, a little over 40 degrees. Bright and sunny, though. No snow in the forecast for this game. Two wide receivers set. Redford in the backfield. Redford will get the handoff, and he'll get a game of about two or three. And then Big Sexy was in there on the stop. Sioux Falls is doing a great job here, uh, Eric. Uh, you know, just running up the middle and staying away from Big Sexy up to the outside. It's really the first play that they've run straight up the middle. 
And it's still got a decent chunk of yardage, despite Big Sexy getting in on the action. Redford running to the outside, though. He's got blockers, and he's going to be out past the first down yardage, out to about the 40, no, excuse me, the 38 or 9 yard line. Big tackle here. Redford gets to the outside and makes some people miss, but ultimately it's... Uh... Tobin right there. Just wraps him up and takes him down. You get a look at Redford lining up in the backfield for this first and ten upcoming. Drive ticking off about three minutes here. Four wide outs. Redford in the backfield. Tyree under center. Short, short drop. Another out route, and that's caught again. And it's going to be another five or six yards uh, upcoming second and four. Eric, I wonder what uh, Alaska's game plan was. Game. They're kind of staying backish a little bit, you know, and um, not letting the Sioux Falls Sparrows receivers get out open, but they're killing them but for this short pass game. Second and four, handoff to Redford. Lowers his shoulder, but Redford is not a big man. He is not going to get past Big Sexy doing that today. This was ready for that one. So third and four upcoming now for Sioux Falls. Seven minutes upcoming here in the first quarter of action. Semifinal number one on semifinal Saturday as Sean Harrelson reels in his first catch of the ball game. And that's going to be another first down for Sioux Falls. This dink and dunk passing game is working real well for the Sparrows so far. And that was only their second third down uh, conversion, so they're 100% so far. Harrelson lining up in his slot position. Actually, excuse me, he's on the outside towards the bottom of your screen. Another four wide out set. And Sioux Falls going to throw again. Tyree's got a man down towards the bottom of your screen there on the right-hand side. That's a catch. A.J. Warren, it'll be a first and goal for the Sparrows. Nifty little one-handed grab by Warren. Great pass. Tyree's going to pass a deeper drop, a design screen, got blockers, and he only gets one or two before he's dragged down. It'll be second and goal upcoming from about the four. That was a good play, Eric. I thought that was just a, a small little... Uh, dunk out to the outside and you know, the way Redford's been running here lately in the last couple of games uh, could have been a touchdown on that last play. Big chunk of clock, almost half the quarter. In fact, it is half the quarter now coming off the clock. Sioux Falls throwing another screen. Redford not going to make it out of the backfield as he's dragged down behind the line. It'll be a loss of one upcoming from the five. A lot of Ryan Davison there just was head hunting. That high helmet tackle animation, that is one of the more coveted ones in all pro football. And Tyree's going to line up with... To... I'm sorry, go ahead, Shane. Looks like we're getting in trouble with Shan's mic here. We're going to try and get that straightened down. On third and goal, though, Redford getting stopped behind the goal line. And it's going to be fourth and goal coming up now. They're going to be forced to try a field goal. disappointing for Sioux Falls to, to run this much clock out, get all the way down here into the red zone and having to settle for a field goal. Great job by that Alaska defense. Prefontaine is the kicker for Sioux Falls as they line up for a chippy here. Probably should have been blocked as the storm got some good penetration on there. Either way, Sioux Falls takes a quick three to nothing lead as they run off a good chunk of that first quarter there in that first possession. So 420, 
424 left on the clock here. Sioux Falls kicking off to Alaska. Short kick, and Alaska able to get some good field position out of it. Robert Merrill bringing it up to about the 35. Oh, Eric, both of these, uh, Cochran and Julian Tyree, both had 350 yards plus in their last games. Get a look at Robert Merrill lining up out there. Good point there is Tyree already off to a hot start. He's 10 for 10, 50 yards on that last drive. We'll see what his counterpart, Ron Cochran, can do as he takes the shotgun set to start things off. Deep pass over the left-hand side, and that's caught, reeled in for about a 12-yard gain. Robert Merrill on the catch. I don't think Alaska's come to play um, <laughs> short swing passes and, and little scouts here. They're going for it all. It certainly doesn't look like it. They're ready to bomb it out here and uh, not looking to do any screen passes. Although that makes sense because they do have a non-contract running back in the backfield there as we get a look at the stars up at the top of the screen. Cochran, Optimus Klein, Robert Merrill, Jeff Komaru, Yassine Clifton, and Brad Burchett all on offense. But Ron Cochran makes his first mistake. He had a couple early interceptions in the quarterfinals as well. This one, an early mistake here as Dodd picks him off. Can't forget about Dodd and A.J. Levy back there. Free safety and strong safety for the Sioux Falls Sparrows defense. They're been vicious this year. He had a couple quick picks at the very beginning of the quarterfinals against Mexico City, and it looks like he's still kind of in that early rut. So Sioux Falls is going to take over deep in opponent's territory. Or excuse me. I'm looking at the wrong side of the field. <laughs> They're working towards midfield as they get about a first, uh, first and ten uh, one-yard game there. Uh, Alaska needs to keep their composure, needs to keep them, uh, make Sioux Falls throw those short out and uh, swing passes because if they start hitting you deep with Sean Harrelson and, and Michael Moore, there, it's going to be trouble for Alaska. Tyree moving in the pocket. Redford with the screen pass. He gets dragged down. It's about three or four yards on that play. It'll be third and six upcoming off that play. Eric against uh, Mexico City. You know, Ron Cochran did have two touchdowns, but he also had two interceptions. So, you know, when you're throwing the ball 52 times and the only completions was 41, uh, you know, you're, you're susceptible to those interceptions. So you got to be careful. Another one of those out routes, a big hit over on the left hand side, though. Drags down Michael Moore. He's going to be short of the first down, and Sioux Falls, unfortunately for them, won't be able to capitalize on the turnover. It does look like Sioux Falls is human after all. So punter Max Moholt is going to kick it away here. Last going to field it just past their 20-yard line, and Merrill's going to bring it up to just shy of the 30. They'll probably mark it down at about the 27. We'll pause for a moment from the SFL. You're watching the SFL on Twitch. The Simulation Football League is presented by APM Music and is the official theme music provider of the SFL. Listen to their Champions Will Rise soundtrack at apmmusic.com today and search through thousands of tracks to boost the quality of your stream just like us. APM Music, production music library and custom music house. We look at the stars of the defense on the Sparrows and up towards the top of the screen, Levant Irvine, Alex Parker, and excuse me, Nick Fargo. Those are the three star linebackers there in the middle of that defense. And you certainly want to watch out for them if you are a member of the Storm. Second and 10 now for Cochran. He's going to throw again after that first one should have been picked. Second and 10. Nets him about six or seven yards. They're actually going to give him eight. It'll be third and two coming up. Alex Parker there with the initial stop. Um, you know, you, like you said before, you've got to watch out for that. They've been vicious, especially Nick Fargo. You've got to keep him 
uh, from getting to your receivers because he will he will put the hurt on them. Offset eye formation, Cochran still haven't gone with the run play yet. Throws another one over the middle tip drill and it's incomplete. I thought for sure Adam McCoy was going to have that pick, but uh, probably that? should have. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus Klein, the intended receiver on the play. And we're looking at a fourth and two upcoming now for Alaska. They'll have to punt once again. You know, I don't know about you, Sham, but I was looking for some, you know, basketball on grass here, you know, possibly some high scoring, you know, deep passes. We haven't really been getting a whole lot of that so far. Alaska's doing a, you know, an okay job by getting the ball out quickly, but they're just going into double coverage, uh, triple coverage, so just got to watch out for that. These interceptions have come much easier when you're trying to do that. Michael Moore gets dragged down right as he catches that punt. And they're going to set up shop just past the 20-yard line of Sioux Falls. I'll actually mark it at the 24 as they take over. First and 10. About a minute 25 left to go in the opening quarter of play. Tyree going to be under center with Redford in the backfield. He's going to sling it out to Redford. Trying to follow his blockers, but his blocker was just a little behind on that play, Shan. I think it was a little bit slow, uh, you know, Redford's trying to get to the outside and just basically out running. Oh, wow, we have a face mask here. Just a short little, a small little five-yard face mask, which still exists in SFL play. So a five-yard face mask, it'll still be a first down. It's going to be first and two upcoming now for Sioux hey. Falls. Haven't seen those a whole lot this year. Alaska, you know, they're, I guess they're kind of frustrated here. Uh, their offense is not playing well, and defense is like, yo, we're doing all the job here, so. So the three wide outs. Tyree under center, and a pro set. He's going to sling it over to the right-hand side. Defense was ready for it. Ryan Davidson is able to tip it away, intended for A.J. Warren. Sitting at about a minute left to go in the first quarter, second and two. After that penalty, Redford's going to get a handoff. Breaks through one tackler, but he gets stopped right at the line to gain. Tony Willis came up and made the stop that time. Tyree under center gets another handoff to Redford who has some room up the middle breaking tacklers just cross midfield that's a big first down for Sioux Falls you can't forget about this running game from Sioux Falls either you know, they have a great passing attack but if you see here Robert Redford just breaking tackles all day took a slew get him, get him down seeing the big hefties running in front of him there and he brings our first quarter of action to an end. Not a whole lot on the scoreboard so far, but that can change in a hurry. Your score, Sioux Falls, up 3 to nothing over the hometown Alaska Storm. You're watching the SFL Network on Twitch, presented by APM Music. Once again, pro set for Tyree. Two backs in the backfield, shuffling his feet in the pocket, slings one sidearm over the middle of the field, caught for a first down by Harrelson. Great route right there by Harrelson, just getting over behind those linebackers. And uh, base, getting that distance. And Tyree was able to uh, snuff that out and was able to make a great play off of it. A 3-0 ball game here early in the second quarter. Sioux Falls knocking on the door once again, hoping to score on this possession as Tyree throws another screen pass. This time it was Bobble that's actually picked off. What a play on the outside there. Was that Tony Willis coming up? I think he netted that interception there. He did. 
Amazing. This is a, a great play by Tony Willis. Just bobble, bobble, boom. Picks it up, has great poise. Listen to that Alaska defense. I have never seen anything like that, especially since Redford is so used to catching those swing passes out of the backfield. That is a lot of what Sioux Falls likes to do on offense. But Alaska will take over after the mistake by Redford. And Nordellis gets, I believe, his first carry of the ball game as he brings it up uh, four yards past the line of scrimmage. Oh, Eric, I think one of the reasons why uh, Redford had trouble catching the ball is an animation that you wouldn't think that means a lot, but footsteps. Footsteps gets the uh, the receiver or, or the running back who's going to catch the ball. Gets them a little scared sometimes, so uh, great play by Willis. Definitely, as Cochran throws over the middle, he's got a man that's Yassine Clifton, and he nets his first catch over the middle of the field, just shy of midfield, and it'll be first and 10 for the Storm. 